had 17 hours sleep last night. I don't know what I'm gonna do till I can drink coffee. Besides, this, this head is too heavy for the body. You can probably tell by looking at me. I'm a victim of natural childbirth. <laughs> Born at home, total chaos. 500 relatives with video cameras. <laughs> and hey, what are those video cameras for? They said, we want to capture the intimate, exciting experience of creation. Too late, should have been there nine months ago. <laughs> Well, I'm learning to walk. I'm having a hard time. These legs are wobbly, and I can't get my balance, and I'll fall down, and I crash into the furniture. I think they're putting something in my food. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not the beer. <laughs> Give it giving me weird stuff like mashed bananas. <laughs> I don't like mashed bananas. I don't like the look of mashed bananas. I don't like the idea of mashed bananas. Fortunately, I've learned to spit. <laughs> uh, slow down, my parents, they play games like airplane. Up in the airport, here comes the airplane. Those are mashed bananas again. You can cancel the flight, lady. <laughs> and it's hard being a baby. It's hard being a baby. You have no control over your life. Like, look at this outfit. <laughs> Jesus, I wouldn't put this on a poodle. I <laughs> know. My parents are very ambitious for me. They have me in a program called Accelerated Learning, so I can learn real fast, get into college before tuition goes up again. <laughs> so they've been showing me artwork, Cezanne, Rubens, Picasso. My mother says, look at this. This is a portrait by Rembrandt. <laughs> okay, so what? Rembrandt, 17th century master of light and dark, genius portrait painter. But until my eyes get in focus, could be a hunk of wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> and they tried to make me appreciate classical music two weeks before I was born. They put speakers everywhere. Have you ever heard Mozart underwater? <laughs> 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 and now, every time I hear classical music, I have the urge to dunk my head in the fish tank. <laughs> I better go check in with my parents. Ever since I've learned to call a cab, they've been kind of jumpy. <laughs> Bye -bye. The baby. Thank you very much. Thank you. I need to do a little sports story for you, huh? Perhaps the greatest race story ever told. And here he comes from the front page of Track and Field magazine, the incredible sprinter, the unbelievable, spectacular, the immortal, George. Do, 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 do. We can have a race. We can have a race, fella. We can have a race. Oh. Boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> One, two. Oh, really? 
ready for boom, boom, land, 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 from the forest up north. All the environmentalists have taken up all the space out there. So I got All right, Wolf, you ready? Yes. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't have a mic. You don't need a mic, Wolf. Yes, I do. <laughs> Are you going to be difficult? Yes. Okay, need a mic here. All right, we'll get you a mic. Thank you. Damn, I wish I were taller. <laughs> okay, well, looks like we're gonna. Is this one of your better mics here? <laughs> I don't know about this. I think we got a better use for this thing here. <laughs> oh, am I doing an impression? Yeah. Jacques Cousteau. I'm Jacques Cousteau, the great French explorer of the sea. Today, we're going to listen to the sounds of the dolphin. I think I can. The dolphin is the most intelligent animal in the sea. I think I hear them talking now. Hey, George. There's that stupid Jacques Cousteau. Charles. <laughs> Okay, well, I'd like to talk about um, oh, animals a little bit. Dogs. The dog's been around for millions of years. I think man really got caught up in the dog because the dog is an enthusiast. You know, he just he doesn't mind. He, he helps the man out, you know, and man needed help in the olden times, you know, like um, herding sheep, you know, things like that. The dog, total enthusiasm for this thing. You're like, all right, dogs. We're going to take about 500 sheep, about 400 miles over the top of the mountain range here. I want you to run around all day long, keep the sheep together. What a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about all that enthusiasm just kind of crowded out his brain. Because <laughs> you could tell the dog, yeah, about halfway up there, there's going to be those grizzly bears coming down here, about nine feet tall, 4,000 pound, long teeth. I want you to run there, bite them on the behind, chase them up a tree. What a great idea. <laughs> Dogs are weird. Dog owners are weird. I raised this dog here from a puppy. Well, what else? A sponge or something? For dog? <laughs> uh, what else are we talking about? But the cat. I can identify with a cat. Because the cat is a real hunter. No doubt about it. Well, the cat has learned, you know, the dog has learned some hunting things. He can point, my God, it's over there. Bing, you know. <laughs> But the cat is a real hunter, no doubt about it. The cat looks good. All right. Looks like we have a jump here about th three and a half feet. Winds from the south. Come in about nine o'clock. Hit the little mother at 40 knots. Nail his ass right there. But the cat is not together. The cat is delusions. You've seen the cat sneaking up on something. You notice the cat is the only animal that thinks it can hide behind something like a walnut, you know. 
But his big problem is his tail is not attached to his brain. <laughs> All right, I'm moving in. I'm looking good. I'm a killing machine. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> but the can't. You can scold the cat, because, you know, he doesn't really, and it doesn't care, you know, he doesn't really pay that much attention. You know, he studied with Buddha for 15 years, you know. It's a, this is the cat. This is, this is all they ever do. Pretty much the agenda for the week, right here. Long as the spit holds out, this is it. Ah, they need a new couch around this joint here, you know. Hey, cat! What the hell are you doing that couch? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go. See you later. Bye, 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 bye. That's the wall. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. you chew that up for? What? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. I, I wasn't in the area at the time. I, I pretty much at the library. And I didn't, I wasn't, never, ever, I wasn't, I could have, I might have chewed it up a little bit, but I wasn't, I wasn't, I was, I was uh, I'm a bad dog. I'm a very bad dog. I, I don't know why I ate the shoe. It didn't taste good. It tastes like, tastes like a shoe. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> All right, dogs, okay. It's not that big deal. Doesn't matter that much. Hey, that's good. Can I eat your slippers, too? <laughs> but God looked down upon man, decided perhaps man should know a bit more. Perhaps man should know frustration. So God created the barrier. <laughs> Soon man was to encounter the barrier. <laughs> and man was ready for experience. <laughs> and unlike all the other creatures on the face of the earth, man alone was the thinking creature. Who the hell is this? <laughs> Able to study, to analyze, <coughs> consider, <coughs> contemplate, <laughs> and to understand. Well, okay. <laughs> well, so what? Well, <laughs> And with this incredible intelligence and patience, man was able to challenge. <laughs> what man may have lacked in common sense and knowledge,